What's up guys, Malachi here, and today we are reviewing the Robosun K1 Interstellar Scout. So K1 is a robot, and I'd say that he's even better than Alpha. So let me go ahead and turn him on and show you why I say that. Hello humanity, I'm Interstellar Scout K1. Now K1 is shorter than Alpha, but that doesn't stop him. Because his servos move a lot smoother and they're more quiet. So let's just do a quick turnaround. So here are the ports. Right here you could see the USB-C port. You could use this to plug him into a computer to program him. And the charging port right here. And one thing I like about him before we actually start is you can kind of see him like breathing. It looks like he's breathing and blinking. So, without further ado, let's get into the actions. So, K1, unlike Alpha, takes voice commands as well. So, let me show you a couple of the basics. Like, hey K1. I'm here. Say hello. Hello. This is Star K1. Hey K1. Do push-ups. Alright, so one thing about this is that you have to say that you have to say the commands very specifically, and you have to say them in a way that K1 can actually understand. And that's like one of the cons about this. Hey K1. I'm here. Do push-ups. So, uh, let's, let's get rid of all the actions first. This is my favorite action so far. Hey, K1. I'm here. Do a handstand. So let's go ahead and start by comparing the two. Alpha and K1. I'm here. Never mind. So you have to um say like so sometimes he'll pick up on your voice too. If you like say his name. So let me go ahead and get Alpha over here. Uh Alpha's most likely never gonna get his arm fixed. So, um, let's go ahead and compare by size. If you lay Alpha down on the ground right now... And then if I lay K1 at the same level... Uh, let me put them heads first, so that way you can see it better. So, he is... So, K1 is a little smaller than Alpha, but he's a lot smaller and thinner too, but it doesn't stop him. He's still a very cool robot, and yeah, he is better than Alpha, and let me actually end up showing you why I say that too. So let's get Alpha out of the way. Let's put him back up. So, the next action for now is the last action for now is Hey K1. I'm here. Dance now. Like I said, he uh, sometimes he doesn't actually listen correctly. So you have to say it. You have to say it like slower. Hey K1. I'm here. Dance now.
So yeah, basically, he's alpha, but cheaper, better, and smaller. So basically, whatever alpha can do, he can do that's pretty much better. Plus more. So, now to get into the most important part, the app. So, the app is called K1. It's capital K, and then capital O-N-E. Alright. So, this is the app. So, you look closely, you can see that it's actually pretty cool. You think it's like a video game. You can't really see it too well. But, um, let me try to show you guys better. You guys can't probably see this, but this button right here says connect, and that's where you connect to your robot. And, alright, now you guys can see it better. This is as Go Program, and then this is where you program. I'll get into this later. These are the actions that you can make him do, and then this is the remote control to just control him manually. So, let's click on connect, and your robot will pop up right here. So basically, he can't take voice commands while in Bluetooth mode, but you can still make him do all the actions with the actions tab. So let's go to remote control first. So, here, let me show you guys again. So, this right here says left punch, you can make him punch, right punch, and then combo punch. And then this cool little background right here. And then this is like where you control him from. And then this camera, you can you it activates the camera of your phone. So that way you can see him while also looking at your phone to control him. Sadly, he doesn't have cameras, so it uses your phone's camera. And this right here, uh, so that button shows you the settings. And then this button takes you out of it. So let's go ahead and click the camera button to activate my camera. Okay. So, you see K1 through the app. So, let me put him back here so that way you guys can see him being controlled. Alright, so I'm going to make him move forward. One thing I like about him is that he moves more effectively and faster than Alpha. And he can move more on his own too, which makes it so that way you don't have to constantly pick him up every 5 seconds if he falls to the ground. And also he can pick himself up too, but faster than Alpha. So let's do left punch, right punch, and now combo punch. You could see the battery level on here as well, and you can control the volume. So let's go to actions now. So now you can see. So there's three options 3D programming, manual programming, and visual programming. When you go to 3D programming, you can see all of the actions that you can't make him do with voice commands. So, for example, there's artificial intelligence. There's this one called Boogaloo. Uh, there's Cyberpunk, Digital Knight, Funky Wiggle, and Wayback, Mechanical Beats, Robot Talk, and Walking Soul. So, let's do Cyberpunk.
so, uh, yeah, that, that's most definitely my favorite so far. And you might have noticed, while he was also dancing before, the first dance that he did, that his, that, that he moves in a way that it looks so fluent, like human-like movements. The way that his servos work together to perform those movements, like you saw on his arms, like it looked like he was moving his arm in circles, his arm and wrist. So, uh, that's enough of the actions. So let's go to Go Program. So there's two options, visual and manual. So let's go to manual programming. And then once you click on manual, it'll show customize or entertainment. So let's click on... Programming mode activated. Let's click on customize, and once you click on customize, you can make your own... You can make him do your own moves. You can record audio as well. So it so basically you just did you made him do an entirely new movement and he's learning. He he'll basically do whatever you put inside. Programming mode activated. So let's click on manual again and let's click on entertainment. So here the app will show you a model of K1 and it'll show them doing a uh, movement, and you have to match up your K1 with that movement to move on. And then eventually, all those movements will come together to create an action. For example, let's click on open arms. Programming mode activated. So it's showing a K1 with his arms open. So let's do that. So, one thing I don't like about this, because I spent the entirety of yesterday perfecting all of them, so I can show you guys, is that you have to, uh, you have to put them, like, very specific. Left shoulder program. Which is something I really don't like. Well done. Please save the action. And then... Now it shows me act actually opening his arms. It shows K1 with his arms open, like this. Excellent. You have completed all the actions. Tap play and watch. So once you've done it, he'll say that, and then you click play. And he'll show you... Congratulations. You have passed. So he'll show you completing the action. There's also leaderboards, where it shows you, like, p people that have K1s, it'll show how fast they've completed this action. Programming mode active. So there's three skill levels. Newbie, which was the first one that I did, which was open arms, the first one on Newbie. Then there's skilled, and then there's master. So, um, if you guys want, I will try to do all of them, eventually. So, programming mode activated. let's go to visual programming. So, hmm, head. Uh, so I just, it's basically like basic coding material. Let me show you. Like connect the blocks to create movement, that type of basic coding. So let's make him turn his head in a 90 degree angle. Alright. Uh, there's one called Pretend to Fart. Um, I don't know how much I kind of want that one. So, let's try. Okay. 
I'm trying to start it for you guys, and it just went out of it. Alright. So let's do auto stand up. Which is, if he's like on the ground, he'll automatically get back up. For example. And then... And if he's on his side... He'll have to move his arms so that way he falls onto his back or the front, and then from there he'll just get up. So, any way that he falls, he can get back up. As long as, on, as long as he's on a flat surface. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. At least for now, if you guys want me to make a part two, because I most likely missed something. Oh, and also there's USB mode, which is like alpha. So you remember that USB-C port that I showed you guys earlier? So that, you can you plug that, you can get a cord, plug it into um, K1, and then plug it into your computer to program him there, kind of like alpha. I still have yet to do that, so I'll probably make a video on that too for like a part two. So, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, hey K1. Oh, never mind. He's still connected. Oh. Um. So let me disconnect from him. Let's look at all the voice commands. Right. Hey, K1. I'm here. Showtime. Yes, that one's not supposed to happen then. So, um, let's see. Hey, K1. I'm here. Shut down. See you next time, humanity. So yeah, I should probably make a part two, like I did with Alpha. So, uh, three likes and I'll make a part two. So, guys, he's actually a pretty cool robot. He cost around... I think 300. He's on Walmart. They have an official website. I'll I'll probably leave both of the links in the description. But um, until the part two, like, subscribe, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.